So in a moment which unfortunately establishes a precedent for the rest of the series, a parental figure of authority has just called up Bible Man and asked him for his help in helping a kid get out of a case of deep blue funk. Huh. I'm guessing that Bible Man, Mary Poppins, and Nanny McPhee all work for the same agency. Talk about your weird crossovers, huh? Bile Man goes to talk to the little girl in question, who is the first of many problem children of the week that Bible Man will be faced with from episode to episode from here on in. And she establishes the paradigm that all the other PTOCWs will be measured against from this point onward. That is, she is a horrible actress, she has been affected by one of the supervillains, and her actual problem, as is put forth in this episode, while being a very serious one that we are all glad that Willie Ames cares about, is unfortunately also a problem that is far too big for Bible Man to actually successfully handle within 40 minutes. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just discuss this on a case-by-case -case basis. For instance, the problem facing Bible Man in this episode is that this little girl's parents have been arguing. They've been fighting, they've been arguing, and it has gotten to the point where this little girl doubts that God even cares about her situation. Guys, I think we're in over our heads here. It just came to me. I was down in the church basement looking for some paint. Then I found this box. I hadn't seen anything like it before, so I opened it. And then it just became clear. God probably had bigger things to worry about. Scripture shouter will become a scripture doubter in the basement. Oh no. It's Crayola. We're being invaded. I knew it all along! Surprise, Bible Drone! Never was one for surprises, especially ones with rotten teeth. You really should floss, you know. The Bible says to be careful when entertaining strangers, for you might be entertaining angels without knowing it. Yes, but fallen angels are hardly entertaining. Well, unless they're being played by Christopher Walken, or, or Viggo Mortensen, of course, or, uh, or Burgess Meredith, or Tim Curry, or Brian Lemons, of course, or um, uh, Al Pacino. You know what? Fallen angels are really entertaining. So the Shadow of Doubt kicks Bile Man's ass and then escapes. Bile Man goes back to the Bible Cave in order to try and figure out what's going on, and Coates tries to help. Miles, you have got to rest. We all need rest. You weren't there, Coates. You didn't experience what I went through. Oh, I get it. He's been affected with teenager syndrome. Makes sense. So Bile Man goes back the next day to try and talk to the little girl. Don't know how I feel. Nobody does. Not even God. Oh no, Bible Man. Will you know what to say? Will you believe? Or will you doubt? Wait. So every time the villain says the word doubt... Oh, sorry. Every time he says that word, Bible Man gets green swirly things around his head and, and has like a huge headache. That's not how doubt works. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. That's not how the the D word works, guys. And, and anyway, if that's the case, then why don't they use this more? I mean, the villain could really just kill Bible Man really easily with this. Bile Man comes in all... 
In Proverbs 16:4, it says, and doubt would just be like doubt, 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 Bioman's dead, the devil wins, and Turret of Darkness sweeps over the land, and everyone prepares to have the Mark of the Beast tattooed on their ass. Just saying. <laughs> and now, for my Acme Instant Minions. <laughs> Don't be hated without them. It's shake up time! And now it's time for the villain song. Wait, this isn't the song I remember from when I was a kid. Okay, so here's where we get into another one of the more unfortunate bits about Bible Man. You know how Bible Man kind of rips off Star Wars with the lightsabers and everything? Well, apparently that's not all they were fans of from Star Wars that they wanted to rip off. Apparently they were also big fans of the special edition remastered editions that George Lucas comes out with every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Bible Man remasters their old stuff. I'm serious. Around the time that Willie Ames left the show, the series was sold from its original distributor, Pamplin Entertainment, to a new company, Tommy Nelson. Tommy Nelson then went back and re-edited all the old episodes, taking out some of the old sound effects and stuff like that. They didn't actually clean up any of the special effects, they just added new sound effects and stuff. And on at least two occasions, this one and in the episode Shattering the Prince of Pride, they actually took out the audio of the musical numbers and replaced it with something else. In this case, well, let's see what their improvement was. Well, first, show me the version of the theme song from the Tommy Nelson DVD box set version. I am a villain with molded teeth. Some say I'm stinky, I say I'm sweet. I am as bald as bald can be. shama lama dang shama lama dang shama lama dang better leave me. And that's a fact Seven days a week I work at that, I work at that Some say I'm evil Some say I'm mean I'm really mean <laughs> That's not bad, it's not bad it, yeah, I like it well, Let's look at the original though Let's see what they have Who's the brand new evil in your town? Shadow of Doubt Who's the baddest bad guy all around? Shadow of Doubt Who's got the plan to take you down? Shadow of Doubt Who's both the verb and the noun? Shadow of Doubt Wow. I don't think there is a way that you could be more 90s than this. And they proved me wrong. Good job, guys. Good job. I think I'm going to go with the remastered version. I think this may be the one occasion where that's actually an improvement. So whichever version of the song you're listening to, Bioman doesn't approve, and he bursts onto the scene to throw down! Hi! May I help you? Today's special is Faith Fricassee smothered in a lovely Cajun down sauce. What? Oh! Fight scene, right. Okay. I was gonna have to take the pills again. I must believe that. I must believe that. Too bad and too late for Mr. Bible Grape. Wait until the world sees the new Doubting Thomas translation of Scripture Freak, and then no one will believe him or his God. Seriously, you're gonna pull out the Acme Instant Minions again? What are they supposed to do, line dance Bible Man to death? <laughs> so Bible Man goes back to the Bible Cave again, and we begin the discussion that I was afraid of from the beginning, the discussion of reason versus emotion. Let's get this over with. In my mind, I know all the right scriptures. 
I just... I don't feel like they're real. One thing's for certain. Whoever this is, he's affected my ability to reason. And just as I suspected, they're taking the side that... Wait, what did you guys say? Coates, what's the one common factor between Kyla and me? You're both short. Besides that, 